Over the past decade, we have seen many instances of black Americans being subjected to police violence with video capturing what unfolded. But before that, the 1991 Rodney King beating was the first time most Americans saw this type of violence from officers. To remind you of what happened, we're going to show you the video. We do want to warn you, it's violent. You can see in this video, Los Angeles police officers kicking and beating King after a car chase. That beating and what followed is the focus of the first episode of Boiling Point. It's a new docu-series from BET, a division of Viacom CBS, and it looks at issues confronting black Americans through, a critical, social justice, through critical social justice moments in our history. Here's the reaction after the officers were acquitted nearly 29 years ago. I don't believe this racist-ass country. People are sick. This was a modern-day nation. <laughs> I see what I see. How are you going to justify this? That's when I saw what America was about. That's when I saw who we were. You know, they told us loud and clear. My little boy, is, he wanted to be a cop just like his father, but after seeing that tape, he doesn't want to be that anymore. He's two years old. How do I raise him not to be prejudiced? How do I do that? when there's no justice for him because he's born black. Hassan Kwame Jeffries, who is featured in the series, joins us now. He is an associate professor of history at The Ohio State University. Professor, good morning to you. So 1991, a neighbor hears a commotion outside, happens to have just bought a camcorder, and he captures on film the Rodney King beating. How does the conversation about race in this country change because of that footage? Well, the footage is critical. Uh, it's shocking, and it shocks many Americans. But it's important to point out, too, that it didn't necessarily, it was even shocking to African Americans, but it wasn't necessarily surprising. African Americans had knew and understood and had been dealing with police violence and police brutality as long as there have been police. But to see it captured in video in such stark terms, uh, as, as video and handheld cameras and the personal cameras were becoming more common, really uh, shook uh, the nation. But what was equally important as that moment was what happens a year later with the trial and acquittal of the officers, which then raised questions about well, what could actually happen even in the face of such stark evidence. So when we think about the progress from then to now, the cameras are more ubiquitous, the technology has gotten better, there's a lot more of this kind of video, but have you seen progress on the, uh, the, the policing side and also the accountability side? Well, certainly there has been change, but the degree of progress uh, is really relative, uh, particularly as it relates to accountability. One thing that we know is that over the last, since over the last 29 years, just as you pointed out, uh, more and more cameras have been available, more and more of these incidents have been captured on film, but at the same time, the number of cases has not declined. So it really raises the question, just capturing these moments on film, is that enough certainly to raise the consciousness of people, but is that enough to bring justice? And sadly, the answer to that, unfortunately, is no. And that's what I wanted to know, Professor Jeffries. Just earlier in this, in this very broadcast, we had a story from San Clemente, California. Black man crossing the street, jaywalking, has an encounter with the police, it ends mm. up deadly. And it, you can just see as it escalates. And I think we go back to the George Floyd case uh, just, as, just last year. What do you think it's going to take to bring to re, re, what do you think it'll take to bring real change? And what does the involvement, the participation of white people in this conversation, how much of a difference does that make? Well, Gail, I think what really is going to uh, lead to change is actually holding officers who violate the constitutional rights of anybody accountable, those who use deadly force when clearly it is unnecessary, until we get to the moment uh, where we hold them not just police departments civilly responsible, but actually hold officers who commit these crimes criminally responsible, then we won't see a change in behavior. We've poured millions of dollars uh, into anti-bias training for police officers, into adding cameras, and we see over the last seven or eight years that has not uh, sub significantly changed the behavior. So we need to have uh, criminal justice accountability, and it is critically important that 
everyone, all Americans, all concerned people, get behind this movement. Uh, and which is why one of the great things from last summer, the summer of 2020, was to see the Black Lives Matter protests, protesting for justice, criminal justice reform, justice for the individuals of police violence, brought out so many people, not just black folk, but black people, white people, Latinos, Asians. It was a multiracial, multi-ethnic movement of millions demanding justice. That's what we need. Professor Jeffries, uh, the series, the docuseries Boiling Points, there are several moments that come to mind. There's Katrina, there's Bloody Sunday, there's the Rodney mm -hmm. King beating. When you think of themes or lessons that emerge, what are they? Well, there are these boiling points. There are these moments of crisis, moments where things come to a head, and we don't know how they're going to turn out. Uh, things could become better in these moments of crisis, or things can become worse. It all depends on how people react. African Americans have always been pushing the envelope and demanding justice in these moments of crisis. How does the state react? How does government react? How do white citizens react? Mm -hmm. and, and, and what's the basis for that reaction? Sometimes, such as in the case of the Rodney King beating, uh, when it came to holding those officers accountable, white citizens, white jurors, did not hold them accountable. They failed uh, their civic obligation. Uh, and that led to uh, the uprising that was respond, uh, responding to the moment, but also a much longer history. So all of these moments, we, I think, yeah. as ordinary people, have the power to decide what comes next. Professor Jeffries, has anybody told you you look like Congressman Jeffries? They said that I look like <laughs> his better brother. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I'll leave it at that. He guy. may dispute that. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Professor Jeffries, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Boiling Point, a six-part docuseries, premieres this Sunday on BET. You're watching CBS This Morning.